Um, I am recording. Hi guys! It's been a while. Um, but today I thought that, let me back up here. Um, I thought that I would share, um, my TBR. This is very This is not for a monthly, it's not a monthly TBR, it's just a TBR in general. Um, so I have a variety of books on this list. I have some rereads, um, I have some rereads, I have some books that I want to finish, so yeah, let's get into it. So the first book will be a new read for me, it is The Haunting of Hound's Hollow by Jeffrey Sullivan. Um, this book is about a boy named Lucas Trainer. um, his family moves to, I think it's a place called, like, Hound's Hollow, it is, they move to an a mansion, and um, Lucas soon discovers that there is much more to this um, place than they originally thought. It sounds really good. Um, it sounds really creepy. I read the prologue in the first chapter, and it is really creepy already, and it's only like a chapter and a prologue, which shows that this will probably be a really good book. Sorry for like any nasally things or if I have to blow my nose or whatever. I have a stuffy nose so it's really not fun. My nose hurts and everything. So I am sorry in advance. Next up is another book. It's a or obviously it's another book. Uh it's a newer book that I actually got. I bought um some books uh, from my library, I actually got four of them. A book. I actually forgot two books. Not good to think that I'd be prepared. I think that I'd be prepared for the videos. There's a book. The problem. Okay. So. Okay. So, I'm a little bit. so I actually got four books from my public library, which is amazing. I bought them all. Um, it only cost me like a dollar twenty-five. But one of the other books that I got is Blue is for Nightmares by Lori Baria Stolars. I probably butchered that last name. But it's basically about a girl named Stacy. Um, she's a junior in, at a boarding school, and I believe this is about, like, her nightmares coming to life or something like that, like, witchy type stuff. Sounds really interesting. Um, it looked very interesting, so I got it. Next up is one that I'm actually borrowing from my cousin, so a shout out to Michaela. Uh, she let me borrow Murdered at 17 by Christine Conrad. So I have to read this uh, very soon, actually, so that I can get this back to her. Um, so this is basically about a girl named Brooke who um, got into an accident. Um, I think it's like a couple of years prior to the story. And... Um, ever since the, um, accident, she's had, like, these anger issue type mental problem type things. So, um, her best friend is brutally murdered, and she believes that she may be the killer of her best friend. So, it sounds really good. I am, I've read two chapters. I am three chapters in. It is really good so far, and I'm starting to see why she thinks that she may be the killer. Um, but it's really good so far. Um, can't wait to continue. Next up is another one that... that uh, is another one that I got from the library. It is a very 
weird pick for me. I didn't realize what it was at first, but I got In Sheep's Clothing, an action-packed political thriller by L.D. Bayer. Bayer? I don't know how to pronounce that last name. I'm so sorry. So basically, I don't know what this really is about, um, but on the back it says, one man holds the reins of power, one man vows to protect him, one man vows to destroy him. So I take it that there is somebody who holds a very special something, and then there's somebody protecting him, and then there's somebody trying to kill him to get the special thing. I don't really know. But, um, yeah, I don't know anything about this, and I didn't realize that it was a political thriller until I picked it up. Next up is yet another book that I picked up from the library um, that I bought. I got Things Change by Patrick Jones. This book, I believe, is about a girl who falls in love with this guy and starts to do things um, so that he can notice her or something like that. It sounds really interesting. My mother actually borrowed this and read it within two days. It literally took her one and a half days to finish this book. So I'm looking forward to reading this. And then the final book that I picked up from the library to buy is Shards and Ashes by various different authors. Um, the authors include Kelly Armstrong, Rachel Kane, Kami Garcia, Nancy Holder, Melissa Marr, Beth Revis, Veronica Roth, Carrie Ryan, and Margaret Stoll. They all write, each of them, each of the authors writes one story. Um, that goes into this book. They're like short stories, but they're longer short stories. Um, but uh, I don't know what the stories are about. I don't know, you know, like um, the characters or anything. I mainly picked this up. Sorry. I mainly picked this up because Veronica Roth is in it. Okay, so now I want to reread Frank and, Frank and the Weenie, adapted by Elizabeth Rudnick. Um, so I watched the movie when I was younger, and then I actually read this book like five times at least. Five times plus. Five plus times at least. Um, I enjoy this every single time. Time. And then I recently watched the movie again, like in December of last year. Really enjoyed that. And I want to pick the book up again just to see the differences and all of that. I'll probably tab it. It's probably about time that I tab it. Um, but this was amazing. I gave this five stars the first couple of times through. Um, you can even see on my Goodreads that I rated it five stars. Um, so this is about a boy named Victor Frankenstein who basically he has a he's like he wants to be a scientist or whatever. He's like a kid. He's like probably like 12 years old ish. Um, he wants to be a scientist and he has a dog named Sparky but one day an accident leads to Sparky's death and Victor doesn't stand for it so he wants to bring him back to life and people basically see that he brought his dog back to life they get jealous and they start um, bringing things back from the dead and it basically just picks up from there it's a really good story very fast paced it's paced perfectly and it's really short so if you want to bring it on the go it's just amazing next up is a classic actually it's a great illustrated classic edition i started this today i'm on page 21 that is the call of the wild by jack london um this book i believe is about a guy named uh no it's basically it's about a dog named Buck. 
that's literally all I know. But I read the about the author at the beginning of the book, and um, so Jack London actually committed suicide November twenty second, nineteen sixteen, which was really sad. And this book already starts off with a sad beginning of the dog being kidnapped from his owner, which is very, very sad, and added on top of the author's note is really, really depressing, but I'm looking forward to reading this. Next up, I want to finish the trilogy of To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I've actually read the first book already. It's on my bookshelf. I want to read P.S. I Still Love You, which uh, I'm on page six. So, I want to finish P.S. I Still Love You, and then I want to read Always and Forever, Laura Jean. This series of books is basically about a girl named Laura Jean who writes up uh, these love letters that aren't supposed to get mailed out, but one day they are mailed out, and she begins to fake date one of the guys um, that she wrote a letter to, and... She soon realizes that she actually has feelings for him. The first book I gave, uh, I think it was like five stars on Goodreads. I can't remember. I actually have another book coming in the mail. It should be here Monday because we don't get mail on Sundays. So, um, should be here Monday or sometime this week. That is Christine by Stephen King. It's basically about a boy who is not very popular, but then he gets a car. Car's possessed all of that, they learn that the car actually has a past itself. Sounds really interesting, so I got that, and then I also ordered two other books, but they are in Oregon, which is apparently having a really, really bad case of coronavirus. So probably won't have those for another, like, couple of weeks, which is sad, because those are the two that I'm looking forward to reading most, which is Needful Things and The Dark Half, both by Stephen King. So just know that those three are coming. So yeah. Now I want to finish It by Stephen King. Now this book is amazing. I love the characters. Um, I'm not that far through. I'm about halfway through. Um, the monster is amazing. The way that it takes forms of different fears is amazing. I'm just loving every second of this book. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Uh, follow my TikTok at JonathanWillette15. Um, and follow my Goodreads. Uh, I think it's JonathanWillette or something. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.